They want 140 for it. She will be mine. Oh, yes. I got my Sega Genesis. I got my PlayStation 2. I got Nintendo 64. A GameCube black in the blue. It's time to hang out with my game. It's time to empty that beer. It's time to hang out with my game. I'm my Final Fantasy. Yeah, I got a Sega Saturn, Sega Dreamcast. Cast. What's good, Internet? Random7 here. Welcome back to Hang Out With My Game Out Friday Night Pickups, episode 22. Hell yeah, guys. Found this new store. It's very retro. It's awesome. It's got Magic the Gathering. It's got video games. It's got figures, comic books. They got a lot of cool stuff, guys. And for the first time being there, they did not disappoint one bit. Got a lot of cool things which you guys are about to see here soon. Hell yeah, they even brought me upstairs, and for the first time being there, guys, that's pretty cool. And they definitely hooked me up. But they got everything from, like, um, Sega Genesis, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, box Super Nintendo games, guys. Pretty cool. There was a Sega Master System there. Whole bunch of stuff, guys. They hold tournaments for Magic the Gathering. All types of crap, guys. So, hell yeah. I'm very excited to show you some of the stuff I picked up from there, guys. But until then, hit that like, subscribe if you haven't, and enjoy today's episode. Sweet. DVD. Sweet. Well, Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. I'm going to have to check that out tonight. Hey, Layton, you hooked me up $4 for a PS3 game? Cheapskate, you talking to me? Nah. Sports game. <laughs> Battlefield 3. <III. laughs> the 10 million you have over here. Yeah, you said that's cool? Yeah. Four. Okay. Thank you. Hell yeah. What is it that you're watching? This is on TikTok. Oh, I got ya. Four bucks. Thanks, Lane. Yeah. Hell yeah. Just stopped into Goodwill, guys, and I found this uh, video audio game switch, which is pretty cool. I have the eight input one. This one can hold three AVs, so three systems all in one. And I think I'm going to pick this up for $3.99 to have an extra one for the game room. So, not bad. Just stopped in at Goodwill, and we found something. So, pretty cool. I don't see anything else here. No games. Nothing interesting. Cassette cleaning kit. <laughs> I'll see you guys on the next one. Well guys, sometimes you only get one chance in life, but we're here at Second Chance Marketplace. Let's get a good deal. Oh, can I check out that red um, nunchuck and Wii remote? Oh, uh, hell no. Thank you. I don't have a red one yet. There's no price on it. Thank you. Pass on that. Pass on that. I think that just has the disc in it. Oh, it does have the. I wonder how much this is. Seven bucks. That's all I have is a disc. So now I just need the map and then a case swap. Is that other Rex? 
That's Rex with one X. Is it for original Xbox? Over here at Second Chance Marketplace. See if we see any PS2 games that I missed last time I was here. That's Sons of Liberty, it's a good game. Alrighty, guys, I'm getting the Warriors, Warriors come PS2. On. A buddy of mine actually said this game was pretty fun, so. And I found it here at Second Chance. And then Lego Harry Potter, I have years. What are the years? One through four, and then what are the other years? Five through seven? Seven. Maybe you should go back to school. <laughs> and then I have the disc home. This home. So now I'll have the manual. I just need to find the map for this. This is cool. Nintendo RF switch. Throw it in your coax, or you can plug it in through your AV, and I don't have the AV part. All right, let's see what Sandy does. I'll see you on the next one. 50 bucks. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you. Cool, it's all there. 10. Jazz got back in from Second Chance Marketplace, guys, and Sandy hooked me up again. So, this Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, guys, I have the disc, but I don't have the manual or the map, so now I'll have the manual. And she gave me a pretty good deal on it, so I went with it. And then we got the Warriors guys, been eyeballing this game for a long time. They've had this here for, since I started coming here. And they always had it marked at 40 bucks. She said she'd do 30 on it. So I picked it up today, guys. It's complete. And then we got Lego Harry Potter guys, years one through four. I have years five through seven at home. So now I have both of them and these are in really good condition, guys. So I spent 50 bucks total here at Second Chance. Really good deal. Thank you, Sandy, for the homie hookup. I'll see you guys on the next one. Where somebody took our uh, Nintendo uh, Switch, so. That's not good. But other than that, yeah, we got old school stuff. We got, oh, uh, you guys, mind if I peek at your Nintendo games? games? You go right ahead, man. Lots of people coming in. Heck yeah. I'm gonna dig in then, cool. What are you playing, the Mario? Yeah, just seen the original. Oh, that color is horrible. I was younger. Oh, I it didn't get a full connection. Oh, okay. But I was just like, eh, screw it. It's playing right now. Yeah, I can't believe I have never yeah, been to Rainbow this place. Rainbow is actually kind of fun. Makes me really do things like that. Is it no more Oh, I'm in a little awe right now. Does anybody see this good retro stuff, or is it just Battle me? Toads, Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat. See, I need boxes for this stuff. I like it. It definitely feels like a retro gaming in here. I love it. Interested in that Sega Dreamcast for sure. Ooh. 
That's pretty. Oh, it's still sealed. That's why. <laughs> Whole bunch of PS2s. That's cool. We still have a game here. The flagpole glitch. Actually, the only one I know is off of World 2, and it's that shell. That's the only one I can remember. They want 140 for it. She will be mine. Oh, yes. She will be mine. She will be mine. I'm worried about the video. You can click through that wall right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's mine. Oh. Any, any ideas what the spaceship patroller yeah, thing is? Cool. It's stupid how much money they want for some of those Pokemon games. Thank God I never got into that. Power monger? Power monger. Power monger. That's cool. Yep. I have this game. I never could figure this out. Oh, that's T2. I don't have T2. So we're over here at what's it called? Nerd Ranger. Nerd Ranger. Never been here, guys, and so far they're not disappointing. That one's complete. Cue ball. They want for thirty. Box Sega games. What's up, little guy? Hey. It's Tito, our mascot. Tito, nice to meet you. Double Dragon. That looks cool. Right. What kind of uh, magic do you guys play? Commander. Commander. Yeah, I don't know. Legend of the Dragon, huh? Oh, I have that game. Manhunt. I know I don't have that game. It's in there too. This game is expensive now. Shadow of the Colossus, I got that. I just got this game. That's funny. For 30 bucks. Beautiful Joe. Let's go. Digimon. Two hundred dollar game. Uh, what? <laughs> Org battle. Kiss. Let's go. Uh, Q 
Kiss Pinball. Actually, have a real Kiss Pinball. So far. Judge Dredd. Shadow Man. Final fight, too. Let's go. Capcom. I think I might get that. Oh, Mario Paint. That's cool. Alrighty guys, we're at Nerd Ranger. I got my maybe pile. For sure I'm getting the Dreamcast. No cords. He said a hundred bucks on it. And then got some other stuff. I'll see what he prices this out at. And we'll go from there. Alrighty. Hell yeah guys, thank you. Thank you so much. Um doing a hundred for that and then hundred for that. Two hundred total. You're at Nerd Ranger. Cool. Guys, this is complete in the box. That's pretty cool. Final Fight 2. It has the poster in there. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, you said it was all complete. And then that guy said Manhunt's a good game. I don't have this one for the collection. Manhunt's fun. I have this for the GameCube, but I wanted it on PS2 also. And then Crew Ball. Am I saying that right? Heavy Metal Pinball. That's cool. And then, guys, my very first Dreamcast. I say it on my intro all the time, but now I actually officially have one. <laughs> I just need to track down some cords for it. But you guys know if this is tested, right? It's tested. It's works. tested, okay. Because I was wondering, you don't have cords for it, so I was wondering. And I played it about six months ago. Did you? Okay, yeah. cool. It's just all upstairs. I'll give you one of our business cards, too. Dan? Mm -hmm. Cool. Thank you, Dan. The upstairs. Yeah, I'll definitely be coming back to this store, guys. So it's Nerd Ranger, my YouTubers. And we'll probably uh, do another little video up here, guys, in the future. He's finding me a Sega controller right now. But... Cool, got some pretty good stuff. First time coming here, guys. Final Fight 2, complete for the Super Nintendo. That's badass. Here you go, bud. Pretty much everything, all games, all uh, card games. I would love yeah, to be a part of that. That'd be yeah. cool, yeah. Get the, yeah, get the... Around, Oh, definitely, man. Yeah, you guys didn't disappoint. That's for damn sure. If you guys are interested in Magic the Gathering, this is the place to go. They got tournaments. Lots of cool stuff, yeah. I like that sign, Nerd Ranger. That's cool. Did you guys make that yourself? Yeah. You got that design? That's awesome. That's really, really cool. Hell yeah, guys. So I'll definitely be coming back here. Got a pretty good stack of stuff. I'll show you guys more of this when I get home. I'll see you on the next one. Well guys, just got back in from Nerd Ranger. Holy crap, I hit the buttload. I spent a little bit of money, but I got some crazy deals, guys. Um, as you can see that in there, ooh, Manhunt, Virtual Fighter, um, Sega Dreamcast. Yeah, I'll talk about more of this stuff when I get home. $200, guys, but there's at least $350, $400 worth of stuff in here, guys. So not bad. I will see you guys later on Friday Night Pickups. Until then. Alrighty guys, just got home, laid everything on the floor. As you can see, a lot of this stuff I got today, guys. Pretty busy day. A lot of cool stuff to cover, guys, and a lot of good deals. We're going to start from uh, the things that I got a couple days ago, guys. We got Valkyra Chronicles for the PlayStation 3, guys. I got that at First National Pawn, along with Final Fantasy VII, Abnet Children for the DVD. And then, guys, we also completed Aladdin, Nazarol's Revenge for the PlayStation 1. I got the back cover art for that. And we also completed Dino Crisis for the Dreamcast, guys. Perfect timing. 
And we got the back cover art for that. Go check out CIB Episode 1, guys. It's a new series I'm doing, Completing My Games. So you'll see that on there. And then, guys, over at Nerd Ranger. Wow. First time ever going there, and they did not disappoint, guys. I walked away with um, a Sega Dreamcast. There's no hookups or anything, so he gave me a good deal on it. He also threw in an original Sega Genesis controller. And then, guys, they had so many good things. Um, I found Final Fight 2 complete in the box for the Super Nintendo. And we'll open that up, and I'll show you everything inside of that here in a second. Pretty happy to have another boxed complete Super Nintendo game, guys. We also picked up Manhunt for the PS2. Uh, we got Crewball for the Sega Genesis, guys. And I think he threw this one in, too. I ended up spending, like, $200 there. Well worth it, guys. And then Second Chance Marketplace, guys. They never disappoint either. Um, I got one of these Nintendo cables so I can hook it up through the AV to see if I get better quality. We got another PS2 controller, guys. Three bucks. And then we picked up Harry Potter. Years 1 through 4 for the PS3. And I have years 5 through 7 already. And then, guys, we picked up the Warriors. Been eyeballing this game for a while, so I finally picked it up. I asked Sandy if she'd, do, if she'd do 30. She said that's fine. And then we also picked up Grand Theft Auto, guys, for the black label and for the manual. So now we just need the map. And then I forgot to show you guys, I got Beautiful Joe 2 for the PlayStation 2 at Nerd Ranger. Another game he threw in. That place is awesome, and I've only been there once, guys. And I have this for the, the GameCube also, so. Welcome to the PlayStation 2 collection, Mr. Beautiful Joe. Hell yeah, guys. A lot of crazy good stuff this week. Um, we are going to go through this Final Fight 2 box, guys, right now. So like I was saying, guys, Crew Ball completing the box. Another Sega Genesis to add to the collection. And then, guys, the big one. What we're here for, Final Fight 2 completing the box for Super Nintendo. Let's go, guys. Hell yeah, it's got a poster, it's got its inserts, it's got its manual, it's got the box that it originally came in to hold the cartridge, and guys, the cartridge looks pretty badass. I opened it up, it is authentic, so let's go. Hell yeah, guys, so what a great week, a lot of good stuff, guys. I'm sure you're wondering what all this stuff is worth. I spent around $267 this week, guys, so let's see how we did. Welcome back to Ghetto Game Charting, guys. I spent $267 total. Game Charting number 125, I spent $17. Total potential value $118, guys. It was good to complete that Dino Crisis for the Dreamcast and Aladdin Nazarol's Revenge for the PS1. Alrighty, guys, today, Game Charting number 126, I spent $250, guys. A lot of money but a lot of good stuff and I think that's a pretty good deal considering I got a Dreamcast, Crewball, Heavy Metal Pinball for the Genesis, Final Fight 2 guys, complete in the box for the Super Nintendo, Manhunt, Beautiful Joe, Grand Theft Auto, The Warriors, let's go, total potential value $474 guys, for a grand total of $592, hell yeah, good week guys. And I'm happy to find a new place I can go and game hunt. So that feels really good. Yeah, I got a Sega Saturn, Sega Dreamcast. Well, that's another episode of Friday Night Pickups, guys. Episode 22. I'm Random7. Hit that like. Subscribe if you haven't, guys. And I'll see you on the next pickups. Peace out.